The clock is ticking for Nebraskans to decide about the death penalty. There were some costly concerns, though, about keeping the death penalty, according to Creighton University economic professor Ernie Goss. I found that cost, and I found out that death penalty states spend more on these death penalty, act, uh, not death penalty, spend more on justice activities than, uh, than non-death penalty states. Dr. Ross argues that his research is accurate because he used statistics from states that do and don't have the death penalty in order to reach his estimate of $14.6 million more that Nebraska is spending for the death penalty, while Ron Edwards from the Nebraskans for the death penalty says that these are false and that the state legislature's estimates are accurate. That is completely false. That is based on pulling numbers from other states, not from Nebraska. And it's kind of a disgrace they would do that. However, there is confusion with the wording on the ballot. That's because this vote is about repealing the law that bans the death penalty. To keep it simple, if you vote retain, you're pro-life. But vote repeal, and you're pro-death. Until the swaying stops, convicted killer Nickel Jenkins will not be sentenced. For the Omaha News, I'm Chris Little.